Like any fire, large wildfires start as a single spark. Variable environmental conditions such as the presence of wind, low humidity, abundant fuel, and low fuel moistures can cause that single spark to rapidly grow into a raging wildfire. A tree is struck by lightning, and within minutes its burning embers have spread to dry underbrush and then to another tree, and soon a whole forest is engulfed in a wildfire. To help protect our precious resources, there is a constant vigil kept to try to detect and protect against wildfire. An aerial detection plane passing overhead spots the fire and makes a radio call to dispatch, providing location, coordinates, and fire status. Miles away, Firehawk crews are mobilizing after having received an order to respond to a wildfire. It's the Sikorsky S-70C Blackhawk, and it's the largest helicopter carded in this area for fighting wildland and urban interface brush fires. With the helicopter configured with the bucket inside, the Firehawk can respond to the fire at a normal cruise speed of 150 knots or 170 knots limited to 30 minute duration stints. Did you get in on that big fire, Jason, or what? Or was it too outside? While crews are on route to the fire, it continues to spread, making the firefighter's job bigger with each passing moment. The Firehawk quickly reaches the helibase, and the support crew exit the helicopter to deploy the bucket. The long line and bucket are pulled out, electrical connections are made, system checks are accomplished, and in as little as three to four minutes, the Firehawk is ready to work. As the Firehawk lifts back into the sky and the bucket clears the trees, the crew scans for a close water source and proceeds to the nearest lake to fill the bucket. And we're at 60? 70? 80 feet, heads coming up. 90 feet, cable's coming tight. Once the bucket is lowered back below the tree line, it splashes into the water and rapidly sinks under. In as little as 10 seconds, the bucket is filled with 800 gallons of water, mud, and foam, and the Firehawk is en route to the fire, loaded for battle at 138 miles per hour. The first target is designated by the firefighters on the ground, or the Firehawk crew, in the absence of ground personnel, sizes up the fire and chooses a plan of attack. The drop is made, the fire is cooled, and its forward progress slowed. This permits the ground crew to move into close quarters on the fire and begin to contain it. The Firehawk crew heads for the water source nearest to the fire, and an aerial ballet ensues. Get 